Warning. This content may be offensive or disturbing to some audiences. R slash ask Reddit. What is most why the hell do you know that fact? If you shake slash jangle your keys at a moth, it will do a backflip. It's a defense mechanism. Yes. It's an adaptation to bat echolocation, which is high pitched. The moths will drop out of the air to pretend they are dead to avoid being eaten by a bat. MLB umpires are required to wear black underwear in case their pants split during a game. I mean that isn't the worst call by umpires I have seen. Fiddle Castro loved dairy so much that he invested in trying to breed a cow that could survive in the climate of Cuba and still produce a lot of milk. He failed over and over four years until one day a cow that was exactly to his specifications. She produced obscene, record breaking amounts of milk even for a regular cow and could live in Cuba's sweltering climate. There were regular updates on her health in the Cuban national newspaper and he loved her so much that when she died he erected a huge marble statue of her in her honor. Abba Blanca was her name. Necropants are a pair of pants made from the skin of a dead man, which are believed an Icelandic witchcraft to be capable of producing an endless supply of money. Would the terror be called a necropancer? That use of present tense is pretty questionable there. Also there weren't just pants made from skin, although I don't believe there is any evidence a pair has ever been actually made, the witchcraft museum has a replica. To make a pair you had to make a deal with someone, while they were alive, that you'd be allowed to do this after they die. Then you still, have to dig up their grave, and then skin them from the waist down in a single piece preferably without damaging the skin, until you have what is essentially tights made from your buddy's lower half. Then you wear it literally as a second skin, but you place a coin that you still under a specific set of circumstances from a destitute widow along with the necropants, nah broke, magic rune in your dead friend's ballsack before you put them on. Otherwise it obviously won't work. Many deaths in the middle ages resulted from pigs wandering into peasant homes and eating babies out of their cradles. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting, so be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume 2 pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. You gotta shave the heads of your victims and pull the teeth out for the sake of the pig's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't want to go sifting through pig shit, now do you? They will go through bone like butter. The last person who died building the Hoover Dam was the son of the first person who died building it. But did they bury him in that great tomb that knows no sound? In that case he'd still be around. You can fit 8, 250 pounds, intact, human bodies, supine, in the back of a 2001 Subaru Outback wagon. Fold down the back seat and toss em in. Source, move training dummies for an army first aid class. Got pulled over because a hand was out and reaching. Sheriff walked up, saw the dummies, laughed and told me to have a nice day, after explaining the call. Jokes on him all the real bodies were at the bottom. Uh, chief, I think there are bodies in that truck. I thought so too, until he said mannequins. Gotta learn to listen, lao. The defense mechanism of the sea cucumber is to eject its toxic internal organs out of its anus, causing the predator to eat them and die. Also they reproduce by having the female shoot out the egg cell and the male shooting be at it. The defense mechanism doesn't kill the cucumber? It doesn't, yeah no, need those organs? They can regenerate their organs. Hedgehogs shit when they run fast, therefore if Sonic the Hedgehog was real, he would shite himself to death. Why die I think he eats so many chili dogs? Oh. My. God. It takes approximately 140 bananas, in one sitting, to kill someone. 
by inserting them, or what? Probably an overdose of minerals. Theoretically, you can die from banana-induced radiation poisoning, except you would need to eat 40,000 of them. Yep. Potassium overdose. It interferes with the electrical workings of the heart. Probably not what you're looking for, but one pound of sugar per 1,000 pounds of concrete will ruin the concrete, and it will never set firm. That's kinda cool, may even be useful in some situation. Broken down cement truck. I think some drivers even keep sugar on board. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was a really popular novel, and was made into a stage play. The actor playing the eponymous Roe Laurels was so good at switching from the good doctor to the evil Hyde, that people wrote to the police claiming that he absolutely had to be the real Jack the Ripper, who was thought likely to be a qualified doctor, based on the way he dissected his victims. They thought no normal person would be able to make such a transformation. The farthest fall for a human being to survive without a parachute is 33,300 feet. How? Long story short, lots of luck. Got stuck in part of the plane that fell into a soft spot of trees and such and low blood pressure helped, because that helped, to not make her heart literally explode. Yes hearts exploding, because of the pressure of an impact is apparently a thing. Best of all, she was temporarily paralyzed and in a coma for a bit, yet after she eventually recovered, she still wanted to go back to work as a flight attendant. Your heart is pretty fragile in terms of impact resistance. In theory, a fast baseball to the right place can put you into cardiac arrest. If you need to hide a body, the best way to do it is to remove the hands and teeth to prevent identification. If they can't identify the body, they can't possibly link the victim to you, since they don't know who they are, and dispose of them elsewhere. You can also pour yogurt into the anus, to help speed up the decomposition process further preventing identification. If you must bury the body, make sure to bury them vertically, as aerial searches will look for disturbed ground about 6 feet or so long. Also, bury a dead animal about a foot on top of the dead body so, when cadaver dogs will alert, they will find the dead animal and the searchers will assume it was a false positive then move on. Edit, I would like to clarify some things. First of all, I'm a woman. Second of all, the reason why I know all this was back, when I was a teenager up until my early 20s I was determined to write a novel, one that involved death and murder and all that wonderful stuff. That never happened obviously, but while I was researching for said novel, I learned about some of the things mentioned above. I already know I might be on an FBI list, or several. I'm actually quite docile in real life and I don't think I'm capable of killing anybody, or dismembering any dead bodies, or for certain I don't think I have it in me to harm animals either. You could also give the police an anonymous call, where the dead body is. A field for example. After the police digged up the whole field, and looked for the body just bury it there, and the police will probably never look there again. But what do you do, when they do find a body? Don't panic. Move your body to a nearby site. Conduct your investigation of the second murder and find a way, to frame the other killer for your crime. If you feel the need to stab someone, stab oranges. They're the same consistency as human flesh. Newly diagnosed diabetics are sometimes advised to practice insulin injections on oranges instead of themselves. I know my parents did this instead of stabbing me unnecessarily as a T1 baby. Licking marshmallows and sticking them on a car on a night below freezing will cause the marshmallows to adhere so strongly that, if they are removed, while still frozen they will take the car paint with them. Someone on Reddit said this on a post, rats constantly leave a trail of urine, while dragging their tails. You can follow the trail with a UV light. Can confirm, I've had friends with rats as pets and they get pee everywhere. It's not a constant stream, just tiny drops here and there. Still pretty nasty though. Otters hold hands, while they sleep, so they don't float away. 
redheads require more anesthesia drugs to remain unconscious during surgery. We are also more prone to anemia and clotting disorders. We are also more sensitive to hot and cold weather. In order to get bones really white it's best to leave them in bucket of hydrogen peroxide, ideally between 3 to 6%, for a minimum of 48 hours, or up to a week. It's easy to buy online, but not so easy to buy in large quantities, as it can also be used to make bombs. First you need to degrease with soap slash ammonia slash acetone. Otherwise they'll just turn yellow after you bleach them. If you put a needle into the gum line between the 7th and 8th tooth you'll hit a nerve that runs past your nose and up to behind your eye. Hitting this nerve causes excruciating pain that no painkiller will help you with. You'll basically need to be given local anesthetic or put in an induced coma to stop feeling it. Pretty sure this is the trigeminal nerve. Women, almost always women, who suffer from trigeminal neuralgia often undergo needless root canals to end the pain only for the pain to not stop or get worse. Thus begins a cycle of anti-seizure meds, brain surgery, facial surgery, it's a brutal diagnosis for those unlucky to get it. Fun fact, you can get shingles along that nerve and go blind. Even without the potential blindness it's extremely painful. Rams are about the same size as football players. The iconic curled horns of a male bighorn sheep can weigh up to 30 pounds, which is more than all the bones in his body combined. From head to tail, rams usually fall somewhere between 5 to 6 feet long, and they tend to tip the scales at 260 to 280 pounds, occasionally exceeding 300 pounds. Rams are football players, dumbass. America dropped extra-large condoms labeled small into Soviet territory to make the Russians feel bad. I broke my collarbone and had to have physical training to strengthen it. They had me squeeze some equipment to measure my grip strength. I hit 140 pounds. He said holy crap, that's great. You know, it only takes 50 pounds to strangle someone. My first question was why the hell do you know that? An important predator to the Canadian moose is the killer whale. The moose will swim over sea straits and get picked off by the killer whales. You can neutralize the smell of a rotting corpse by covering it with the ashes of a common campfire. Any wood ash should work, friends. Hardwood ash will work, softer more resinous woods like pine won't. Activated charcoal, is that the same as ashes of a fire? Reminds me of a true crime case in China where a son killed his mum, she was a teacher, and he left her body in the doors, where the teachers live, wrapped in layers of gladrop and activated charcoal. Pretty sure they didn't find her body for months. That child marriage is legal in certain parts of the US. People as young as 11 would get married off to grown adults by their parents. This voids the age of consent, and in many places they're not allowed to file for divorce until they come of age. Meaning they're stuck powerless with some sick abusive child molester by law. This got some attention a couple years back, but it's still allowed in some states. And from what I can tell most people forgot again. If you ask me this should be the biggest concern in America right now. This is what we should be asking the presidential candidates how they intend to end this. In ancient Rome, having a large penis resulted in being ridiculed. It was thought the bigger the penis, the dumber and more brutish you were. In other words, I would have been the smartest man in Rome. 